Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here for another shave video. Gonna be reviewing today, Fine Snake Bite. I'm not sure if I've done it yet. Uh, I've, used, uh, I've used this soap a little bit and I love it. I love menthol. Here in Australia, it can get quite hot. Not as hot as a little bit more inland. Um, I'm sort of closer to the beach side of Australia. So if you're looking at the Australian map, I'm on the right side, halfway down, um, like right on the water. So it's a beautiful area, uh, but it can get pretty muggy. So a lot of times I love whipping out a menthol soap and this is one of my favorites, Fine Snake Bite. Performance on Fine is absolutely awesome. I really like the performance of it. Uh, this is, uh, I've got this one and American Blend. American Blend, the scent is incredible. Really wanna try Platinum. I love the pineapple cologne of Creed Aventus, so really gotta try and get that one. Um, but I was looking up some reviews and then I came across um, IMCDB again, so I watched his video and holy crap, he's lost a ton of weight. Anyway, um, and he was basically saying that their splashes were going up in price, so we sort of lost interest and I checked it out and I have. And it's sort of frustrating when, um, you know, the ingredients in these are very, very minimal. It's alcohol, water, menthol. That's it in this one. And in all the others, it's fragrance. That's the only additive to it. Um, they're really, really good splashes, but there are better ones out there that are better for your skin. Um, if these were the price that they used to be, I would probably pick it up. But So I've been looking at some more soaps and creams, but... Wanted to get used to this one. I'm not sure if you can see, but on here there's actually a snake um, sort of engraved on here, which I think is really cool. Um, and when I first got it as well, you could actually see the sort of menthol crystals um, on the top. It was really, really cool. And I got this from watching Paul H. I watched him uh, last night and he did a menthol shave and it just made me crave a menthol shave. So for Paul H, I'm going to be using one of his favourites as well, the Samog 820. Yeah, I got it wrong in a live shave and Tony <laughs> pulled me up on it. Thank you, Tony. Um, yeah, knows more about my brushes than I do, which is fair enough. <laughs> uh, so th this is a really nice brush. It's probably only got about, I want to say maybe eight lathers in it. I've done a couple of test lathers and then a couple of shaves with it. Um, it'll be under 10. So it's still pretty new. It doesn't feel super soft just yet. It's got a touch of scritch. And for me, <clears throat> I'm not sure if the knot is big enough, in my opinion. Uh, as a bowl lather, it's absolutely perfect. Um, but we'll see how we go today. And I know that the more it breaks in, the more the fibers split. And for me, that tends to allow it to hold more lather. So also coffee, nice crema on top of that. Mm. Nicaragua, not bad. Oh, it's been a while since I've done a menthol shave. Got the matching splash as well, which is absolutely killer. So just hand leathering in the, um, with the puck on the hand. I know a lot of people really didn't like the fact that these guys weren't doing tubs and it took them way longer than it should have. Oh. <laughs> Just get the big whiff of menthol, it's so good. Um, it, it took a lot longer than it should have. But now they finally are making tubs. They, they tried another thing and they, they did these like stone or oh, ceramic. Hey dog, Ralph, come here. There he is, getting him in shot there, making him Making him YouTube famous, hey Ralph. Yep, he doesn't care. Um, what was I talking about? How good's that? God, my memory is awesome. I'll remember it soon, or not. Maybe I should look and see what I was talking about. <clears throat> I might do that quickly because I, I, I want to finish whatever I start talking about. I'm sick of just zoning out. I'll be back. <laughs> right, fine accoutrements tubs. Yeah, they did the <laughs> they did these um, ceramic ones, and 
really wasn't a fan of them because they didn't even come with a lid. So they were designed, I'm pretty sure they didn't come with a lid, but they were designed to be stackable on other tubs of fine. So basically you needed a couple of fine soaps to really take advantage of them. And I think that's a little bit ridiculous, but the performance of these soaps are awesome. Like the lathers you can get from Fine Snake Bite is really, really nice. Now, the menthol strength on Fine Snake Bite, I'll probably put it at about a six. My 10 is Sterling Glacial. I got the wintergreen, that thing is awesome. And I thought by the sound of it, that snake bite was gonna be absolutely like over the top, super, super freezing your face off. It's cold, it's reassuringly cold, I guarantee you that. But for the name snake bite, I was expecting a little more, but it's, it's still really nice. Uh, the soap base is really good too. I can't even remember if it's tallow based, I should check that, but it's whatever it is, it's really good. Yeah, tallow based. Glycerin, the real hard soap. Gonna be using the um, Chevette as well. Um, I've been having some spots of irritation with it, but if I push through and just try and build up my confidence with it, and hopefully that'll make it a lot easier to transition to when I get some straight razors. So I've got that in the works. <clears throat> Also, Kai Triska, if you haven't checked him out yet, jump on his page. If you're a part of the It's Just Shaving group page on Facebook, you'll know that we do a live shave every Wednesday, so jump on there if you wanna see those. He's a young fella about 14, no, it's 23, I think, 24, I think it's 23. Um, really cool guy, he's Japanese and Czech, I think it is, and lives in Hawaii, pilot, dream life, never worked a day in his life. <laughs> and I have been enabling the crap out of him. So he's been buying a whole bunch of stuff and we've got this massive sort of box trade in the works. He's just received mine. Literally just an hour ago, I was watching the live of him unboxing it, which was really cool. I was petrified something was gonna happen to that box. Because I've just had one recently. Um, yeah, one of my boxes didn't make it and got sent to the wrong address or something, so. Could be my fault, I've got messy writing. But anyway, they've, uh, I'm pretty sure they've found that the guy that I was sending it to was, told me he was gonna update me, but I did see that the um, on the app where it normally says like delivered or on its way, it, it now says returning to sender, so. It's annoying because it's a heavy package, so I have to pay for postage back, but anyway, it's better than it not getting there at all, so. For some reason, I'm finding with this IBC, it, whenever I go back to it, the blade isn't actually straight. Maybe it's my eye, but to me it looks, no, that's definitely slightly out, isn't it? I guess it doesn't make a huge difference because it's not paired with a base cap or something, so it doesn't really need to be even, but just for my strokes, I don't want it being uneven. There we are. So I just adjusted it back. This thing is beautiful. It's in the burgundy handle. I love, love this. You can use basically any type of blade. I don't think you can fit hair shapers. I've never seen anyone use hair shapers in these. Um, but I'm pretty sure hair shape is a longer than a feather artist club and this only just fits an artist club, so might not.
God, the chill is so nice. It's been too long since I used menthol. I went through a stage where I was only buying menthol soaps. I went and bought Wolfpack Ice Pack, and then I bought this uh, fine snake bite, and then I bought Glacial Wintergreen. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> That's beautiful. I think this probably only has sort of one advantage over sterling and that's that there's no fragrance in it but that's you know hit or miss i know some people are really sensitive with fragrances and if you are but not sensitive to menthol then this could be a really good option i'm pretty sure sterling probably do a unscented glacial though Feels really nice. I'm still trying different things technique wise. Just trying to see what works for me. And I noticed Kai Triska doing it and I haven't really noticed many others is putting a f some fingers up, <laughs> fingers up a lot closer. So now I'm putting my fingers up a little bit more. Finding it just gives a little bit more control for me. Another sip of coffee. Mm. For me, the chin is the hardest part. For me. Uh. Also, if you see if I'm doing something really wrong or you have any tips for me, just chuck them in the comments. I'm I'm happy to take criticism of of any kind, really. Man, it's been a while since I used menthol. I love it. Performance on fine, really good stuff. I think I'm where I've found sort of most important is the angle. I was using some angles that were way too aggressive like that, um, just cause I was feeling the blade a little bit more. but it was making such rough shaves. For me, I find the perfect shave at the moment with the shavettes is a two pass. Um, we'll just see how we go. I might do one cross grain one way and then one cross grain the other. Oh, what a good start to the day. And if you know, it's winter here in Australia, but winter's pretty much over on the Gold Coast. It's not that cold at all. Really, really nice. Smog 820. Oh yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit more water because on that last pass, it didn't have the glide that I know of from fine. I'm not sure if that's because I don't use fine with them. Um, Shay that. I had I had a massive pimple right there. That was killing me. And I just popped it yesterday. 
I have to pop them. I really don't like leaving them. I know some people are like, ah, leave them. But there is no real downside. As long as you keep it clean, which I do, as soon as I pop it, I um, throw some tin skin on it, which is really al alcohol concentrated, designed for ingrown hairs and irritation. It bloody hurts, but feels great at the same time. I love the alcohol burn. Love it. Another little sip of coffee. Oh, that feels weird to the senses, eh? Hey? Having a hot coffee in my face is freezing. All right. Across the grain to the nose. Is that straight? It's going wonky again, man. That's weird. He did give me a uh, replacement um, a replacement sort of piece that holds the blade. Maybe I'll need it. I don't know. This thing is pretty easy to load. I don't know if... I'm stuffing it up or not. Yeah, heaps better slickness now. Yeah, just needed that little bit more water. Beauty. Using really light pressure as well helps a bunch. Cool. Alrighty, Roo. Let's get around to the other side. Can you see how shaky my hands are? You see that? <laughs> Brilliant. It's what happens when this is like your third, no, fourth coffee in like an hour. I don't know if I mentioned, this is probably about the fourth use on this blade. Still feels really, really nice. Uh, a little bit less sharp than normal, but equally as smooth. So I may need to ditch it after this one. But if you are a shaver, shaver, and you haven't tried a Feather Artist Club shave it, you tr please try. To me, they are far superior. To a uh, DE. I'm really actually trying to concentrate about thinking what I'm doing um, when I'm doing my passes. Just trying to build more confidence with the actual technique I'm using instead of just going to town hoping for the best, you know what I mean? We may need a little more like Oh my god, it's gold. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, now this will be enough. I swear my 1470 though holds more leather than this. I'm not sure. That one is pretty much fully broken in though. I used it for quite a while and then I did that fridge method, which I feel really works. Um, and those hairs were splitting on the second shave. They feel completely different to the 830, 820. That's plenty. It's actually preferred for me at the moment with the um, shavettes, this sort of consistency. All right. Hmm. That feels really good. That blade just moved on me. It did. Man, there's play in the blade. So I felt it sort of swing in the um, in here, and it's as tight as I can do it. That's pretty bad. I've never noticed it with the DE blades. It never did that. Um, but yeah, I've always had a little bit of a weird time with these artist clubs and I remember actually reading that although it fits the artist club blades, it's not. That because it's not completely designed only for these blades, it was very hard to actually perfect actually holding the blade right I'm starting to really notice that now oh close shave though wow really really nice I love this shavette. It's just that little bit of wiggle room really is disconcerting. Even if it just doesn't uh, does it every so often, it's still disconcerting. You can't, you don't really want to risk that sort of stuff. Residual slickness is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, really nice actually. That's a beautiful shave. Really good. I love fine snake bite, it's good stuff. Mm. Take the rest of the leather out of the brush, which is not a lot. Tiny little bit. Just chuck it on the face, why not? Extra little bit of menthol. It smells great. It's just just smells like menthol. I love the smell. Oh. That's really cold. Not as cold as glacial by Sterling. That's still probably the coldest I have. Not probably, it is the coldest I have. Oh, that's really nice. So yeah, snake bite is formulated to have nine times the amount of menthol compared to their regular splashes. And you definitely feel it. It's a really, really nice splash. 
as soon as I do that splash, be out of here and off to work. Yay! This brush is starting to splay out a little bit more. Starting to sort of get a little bit of a bloom to it. I've had quite a couple of um, loose ends on here as well, which I'm really unfamiliar with, with good Samogs and good Omegas even. But yeah, it's starting to splay out a little bit better. What time have we got here? Where's, there it is. Beautiful. Splash time, and then I'm out of here. Fine snake bite. Oh, bit of burn. That's only from the alcohol menthol hasn't hit yet. It's coming. There it is. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful, beautiful splash. See, that's something that you can just use, you know, every couple of shaves or so. Um, just because it is unscented. There is no fragrance or anything in here. And I think that's really nice. Oh yeah. God, it's been a while since I used this. For me, this is as cold as I would comfortably go. Uh, any colder than this, like the Sterling Glacial, that was over the top. It felt like a reaction and also dying. Um, yeah, it had like probably just a little dash of dying in there uh, for me, so. Let's run through what we use, the IBC Shavet. It's a beautiful Shavet, but I'm having a little bit of trouble with the Artist Clubs. Um, I might need to try that that other sort of... I've got a whole another replacement this bit, so I might need to try that. Yeah, you can see it's out, out again. Just by a little bit, but um, yeah. Then we used Fine Snake Bite. Beautiful soap and a beautiful splash. Awesome. You guys take care, stay safe, stay positive. Smogate 30 almost forgot. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.